Mimi. Hello, Juan. Mimi. Hi, Mr. D. Hmm, what are you doing there? I'm counting down the red envelopes. I will be giving out for my nephews and nieces. I see. What's inside those envelopes? It's the lucky money. It's like a wish for a new year for them. I see. Okay. Can you give me one? Actually, they are around 10 years old. So, mm -hmm. how old are you? Mm. Okay, why? Never mind. That's okay. Thank you. And uh, just give my regards to your nieces and nephews, okay? Sure. Okay, see you. Hello, everybody. I hope you're all doing fine. This is Teacher Fritzi from Jolo English. This is a very special episode we're doing because I'm going to talk about one of the most important celebrations in Vietnamese culture, and this is Tet Holiday. Tet celebrates the arrival of spring, which is usually based on the Vietnamese calendar falling in either January or February. We're referring to the lunar calendar that most Chinese, Vietnamese, and Asian countries use. So here are some interesting facts about Tet Holiday. Let me start with Kitchen God Day. This is usually celebrated on December 23rd of the lunar calendar. Families are busy staging a farewell ceremony for the land genie and the kitchen god on their annual visit to heaven. I love this next thing that I'm going to talk about because I'm a person who really likes flowers and I'm talking about the traditional flowers for Tet. And we have peach blossoms and apricot blossoms all around which makes the surrounding really joyful. Now the pink color of these flowers symbolize the love and joy shared by people during this time. Another thing that people will notice in front of buildings or homes are the kumquat trees. Now these trees contain the very necessary elements that wish people good luck for the new year. It has flowers, fruits, leaves, branches and roots which symbolize wealth and happiness for everybody. Special cake anyone? Well, my friends usually give me this one every Tet holiday. I'm talking about their traditional food during Tet. And this is the chum cake, which is a tightly packed sticky rice cake with bean or meat fillings inside. And of course, this is wrapped in leaves. And talking about fruits, how could we miss the five fruit tray that sits on the ancestor's altar on Tet holiday? We can prepare a combination of bananas, apples, grapefruit, kumquat, oranges, and other special fruit. Now this is an offering done to the ancestors and this usually brings luck and abundance to families. And the last interesting thing I'd like to talk about is something that made me wish I was born here in Vietnam. That's the red envelopes that children get every tap holiday. Actually, even unmarried people still get the red envelope. So don't forget to join the holiday season during Tet. And some holiday wishes that you can give the families here would be wishing you happiness, good health, and success all year long. And wishing you all the blessings for this year. And for this new year, I'm into giving some gifts. So right now, I have a very simple question. And if you know the answer, put it in our comment box below this video. So our question, what is a New Year's resolution? Is it A, a big party? B, a promise to oneself to improve in some way? C, a fancy hat with green lights? And D, the number of pixels on your screen? Well, I think you know the answer, so why don't you start typing in? We'll have a prize waiting for you, so please join us and have a great Tet holiday. Why don't you leave your comments on what you want to learn next? And we'll be more than happy to share everything that you want to learn in English right in this channel. This has been Teacher Fritzi, wishing you a happy, prosperous, healthy, and successful new year. Chúc mừng năm mới!